Hey everybody, the bearded prepper coming back to you. A little bit dirty faced, been out working. For those of you that have followed along, uh, if not, just go back to look at my prepper treasure that I received over Christmas time. Um, if you recall correctly, my lovely bride had given me uh, these three rectangles, um, kind of like roll, rolled plates of uh, carbon steel. And I have started making some knives out of them. I, I designed them and cut them out, kind of like a bushcraft knife there. Maybe kind of like a bushcraft uh, hunting buoy knife kind of thing there. You know, just something a little bit different. This is really good steel too. Then I had a third piece left over just to do something different. I decided I was going to make an old fashioned I don't know, medieval looking dagger, little uh, giant boot knife, if you will. Anyway, um, you know, it's, I, I had talked previously, uh, one of my earlier videos on my channel was about uh, developing skills. And one of those was, you know, elementary or uh, basic blacksmithing skills. And in that video, I showed you a um, knife, a kind of like a, you know, everyday bushcraft hunting knife that I had made out of a cross tie, or not a cross tie, a railroad spike. And, um, you know, this is just another option for you. If you don't have the space or really uh, are not able to get into, you know, practicing basic blacksmithing skills and things of that nature, you can always get these little rectangle. They were just, you know, rectangle, I think, uh, inch and a half by 12 inch just rolled steel, carbon steel plates. And then I, I drew the design out and um, just cut it out with a, you know, like a angle grinder or a, um, you know, like a cutting grinder, cut the shape out. And then I used my, um, you could use a file, which takes longer, but I ended up using my belt sander uh, with a couple of different grits of um, sandpaper belt on it just to kind of finish it off and smooth it out, make it look a little bit shiny. Um, so, you know, that's an option for you too. You know, if you can't afford to go out and buy a good quality knife, um, everyone that knows much about knives knows that carbon steel is the best uh, for, you know, keeping a hard edge or a sharp edge and, and um, being pretty tough. I do need to um, quench these heat them up, get them red hot, and quench them just to kind of harden them a little bit, then maybe temper them. So I think as part of this video, um, you know, probably on a different day at a different time soon, I'll get my, you know, homemade um, little forge fired up. Maybe we'll, you know, go through the process and make some, some more um, railroad spike knives. And uh, also, you know, kind of quench these as well. And Make it all in one video just to show you a little bit of the hands-on applications with um, basic blacksmithing. So stay with me. We'll go through it together. Okay, everybody. Here we are. I fashioned a um, somewhat of a homemade forge, if you will, here. I've got some coal in it. I'll give you a little tour of it here in just a second. I'm going to get it fired up and see if we can't. Um, at least get something going hot enough that we can get our, our blades that I, I've shown you uh, heated up enough to quench or harden and um, and then maybe also we'll be able to temper them as well and if we have enough time and enough daylight left enough heat out of the little forge then uh, maybe I'll heat up some some of the railroad spikes and start kind of flattening those out too just to kind of give you a, a little demonstration of of a um, you know rudimentary blade making or blacksmithing so stick with me let's see how it turns out just a little tour of my homemade forge you can see I just stacked up blocks I've got some bricks with holes in them we'll see if they'll withstand the heat so you can see the holes are underneath with the coal piled on top I've got a little bit of coke from my old my last fire uh, mixed in with it and I've just got like a little squirrel cage blower it's gonna blow right up under there through the holes and hopefully into the fire and uh, get it started. So, you know, you don't have to have anything fancy just to, to make this work. 
uh, just something to get blades hot enough that you can actually forge with them or metal hot enough that you can forge with it or harden it or um, temper it. I've actually even done this somewhat with, you know, hardwood and uh, charcoal before. It's just a little more difficult. It takes uh, a little more effort to get it controlled. The coal seems to work a little easier if you have access to it. Okay. First thing we want to do is try to get a fire started and get it underneath here so we can get the coal at least started uh, started burning or smoldering underneath. Okay, this is what you want to get to. Once you get it burning underneath, you have to just slowly, slowly, uh, if you're using coal, pick at it until you can get a tunnel back in there to put your knife in and get it hot. And then uh, I have some oil here that I'm going to try to quench it in in this old water bottle. There's the knives. We'll clean them up. Get the first one hot and show you how it goes. Okay, you can see it's starting to get red hot. It's about ready to quench. Okay, here we are. You can see the knife is red hot. I prefer to keep something between me. Get back, though. And the oil. So there you go. It's not pretty, I'll have to clean it up. But the idea is you get that metal red hot and you cool it down. You get the molecules all loose. Cool it down quickly, they clamp down quickly. And um, again, I am not an expert. I'm sure there's probably some experts out there that'll tell me what I did wrong, but I have done this before on an amateur level. It does make your steel much harder, especially carbon steel. So it will um, hold an edge a lot better. I'll show you tempering next. Okay, here we go. Blade number two. And blade number three. Okay, so ordinarily I would like to kind of lay the knife on the side or on the top. This one is really big and um, I'm not really able to do that. So I'm going to try something new. I've read about this, but I've never done it. I may be completely wrong, but I'm just going to put it right back in here. No no um, air on it. Just a little bit of hot coals under there. It started dying down. I'm just going to sit it in there and let it get a little hot again. Take it out. I don't know if you can see, but that metal has, the, on the clean spots, it's kind of turned kind of a yellowish, hazy color again. So that lets it just kind of loosen up just a little bit. 
without staying so brittle. You don't want to break a tip off of a knife after you've spent so much time on it. So I'm going to let this one, I am going to let it just kind of hang out here just for a minute while I'll do some of the others uh, just to make sure I, I did get it kind of good and, you know, warmed up enough that it can loosen up a little bit. 